The Thief by Megan Raylan Turner starts in the place the best books often do, in the middle of a prison. The story is told from the perspective of a snarky, quick-witted thief, Eugenides. Trapped in the prison of Sunus' king, Eugenides is given an ultimatum. He can help steal a stone said to give the bear the right to rule the mountain country of Edis, or spend the rest of his life in prison. When Eugenides agrees to help the king, he is suddenly caught up in a passive-aggressive war between the three countries that occupy the peninsula, Atolia, Edis, and Sunus. Amid a harrowing journey to Atolia, where the stone allegedly resides, Eugenides shows his taste for brutally sarcastic humor and distaste for stupid people. When Eugenides finally reaches his goal with his company of kingsmen, he is able to find the stone, but discovers something that he did not expect. The gods, who he casually worshipped, are all too real. Eugenides finds himself amid a world of celestial intervention, all centered around him trying to get what he wants. Eugenides is waylaid by the Queen of Tolia's soldiers, but through wits and luck he manages to make the end of the story jaw-dropping as he miraculously managed to escape from the clutches of the Queen and leads his group of Sunusians to safety, straight into the loving arms of his cousin, the Queen of the Mountain Country, Edis. It turns out in the end that Eugenides was more than he appears as he reveals to his group that he gambled his life on securing his cousin's throne and denied the Sunusian king any chance of ever ruling Edis.